Russia's invasion of Ukraine remains a focal point in Davos Meet 2022. Speaking at the annual World Economic Forum, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said that Russia is using food supplies as a weapon with global repercussions, acting the same way it does in the energy sector. Here's a report for more. Take a look. Russia is using food as a weapon in its war on Ukraine. That's according to European Commission Chief Ursula von der Leyen on Tuesday, who condemned Russia for targeting Ukraine's grain silos and blockading ships full of grain in the Black Sea, saying a food crisis is fast approaching. She spoke to Reuters at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. It cannot be in Russia's interest that because of Russia, people are dying of hunger in the world. Von der Leyen called for talks with Moscow on unlocking some 20 million tons of wheat exports that are trapped in Ukraine as a result of a Russian blockade. Three months after President Vladimir Putin ordered Russian forces to invade, Ukraine is top of the agenda at this year's World Economic Forum, a gathering of more than 2,000 business, NGO and political leaders. And on top of this, Russia is now hoarding its own food exports as a form of blackmail, holding back supplies to increase global prices or trading wheat in exchange for political support. This is using hunger and grain to wield power. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken last week accused Russia of holding hostage food supplies for not just Ukrainians, but also millions of people around the world. Moscow rejects this allegation. David Beasley, executive director of the United Nations World Food Program, told Reuters the world is facing a global food shortage and Russia's actions are pushing the crisis to the brink. To keep the ports closed, as the harvest season is now uh, coming in in Ukraine in July and August, it means a declaration of war on global food security. And if you can't get the food out the fields, I mean, Ukraine grows enough food to feed 400 million people. Russia and Ukraine together account for nearly a third of global wheat supplies. Now everyone's beginning to give it the attention that it needs because the consequences, if you don't, are going to be absolutely horrific. You know.